Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time with some swinging things and that could be for example a hazard spike like on the left side with the axe, on the right side with a spike ball or maybe just a prop like this one in the middle where it swings very very softly from the left to the right side. And how can we do that? Well, basically with the ease function. Oh god, again the ease function? Yes. So basically that thing does a lot of magic and I will show you how to do that. Stay tuned for that. This is Wana Bindi. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you are new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days a video and for now every day. So let's get right into the good stuff. What do we have here? Basically, I have this uh, axe. I will just delete all that stuff so we can see it step by step. And for that, there are a few things well to consider. First of all, you have to center it correctly. What do I mean by that? You cannot just say, okay, middle center or top center or something like that. You have to do it around the point you want to rotate it on. So that's why I put it in here where well you can just swing it like that and the second thing is for example I put a collision box just for the X part that is a little problematic which I'm gonna show you later on so let's get right into the object and for that we need a few things first of all to set up our ease function in the create events we need four things and I just copied three uh, we need four so basically for now we start with a zero value at start and then we go to 120 and those ones are now um, angle points or um, this is just the angle by itself so we go from zero to 120 which is I don't know not even half but just something below a half so it doesn't go completely well, but you will see in the end how it, how it does look like and then in the step event we have our ease function and we need to manipulate one thing which is this one and that is that I call swing angle and then we are almost finished well actually we are finished um, we have our ease function then we have a quite long duration but it's not too long it's like four seconds and then we go to the image angle and apply our swing angle and i do a minus value because we would start at this point and then it would go 120 degrees up but we want to go from the left to the right side so well it looks correct that's why we well take half of our destination and for example if you have a different value for the destination we take half of that and then basically we can already start it because that's basically it come on as you can see it already works beautifully depending how much time you use let's say how how long the timer is um, and how far you want to swing you just change those two values so so this one is for how much you want to swing how many well degrees of the angle you want to use and the duration is how long you want to take it and the longer the heavier it feels and well this one just changes the the, the angle itself and because I said about wonky well hitboxes here I, I draw a rectangle around it and the B box left top right are those values which are stored and they define and give you back the bounding box of the object itself of this one which you just saw and so if you for example want to check a collision these ones you can do and you just draw a rectangle with, with them together and then you have something like this and as you can see 
the bounding boxes are not working too properly so just keep that in mind for example here um, I would be hit but the axe is actually not hitting me like if you see it on this part so this is kind of strange but well you can just make it smaller or do separate hitboxes hopefully that was interesting for you have a good one one up in you